Hi, my name is Greta Johnson, and I'm doing my teach-in two for class TEEL 202, and I'm going to be teaching on uh, primary colors and color theory, how to mix those colors to create secondary colors. And this class would pretty much be for um, kinder first and second, but today's class is more geared towards second graders. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. Afternoon, I'm so glad everybody's here today. Let's everybody come around the table, okay, and have a seat. I'm going to talk to you uh, some more today about primary colors. Now, who can remember what the primary colors are? There's three. Hmm. That's right. Red. Next time, raise your hand. Good job, though, Trent. Good job. Red. And we have what else? Sarah, thanks for raising your hand. Yellow, very good. And let's say the last one all together, blue. Very nice. So we have red, yellow, and blue. So we're going to start out our song that we learned last time so that it will help you remember what those primary colors are. And the nice thing about this is, is this song will get stuck in your head and you'll remember it forever and ever. You can teach it to your mom or your dad or your dog and they will know the primary colors. Here we go. Are we ready? Remember, it sounds just like three blind mice. Here we go. Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Yes, it's true. I'll tell you. They are primary colors. They make all the others. Now you know the secret about red, yellow, blue. Very nice. Okay, we're going to talk some more about primary colors now. These three colors are the colors that we use to mix to make all the other colors in the color wheel, that's right, or in the rainbow. A color wheel is a special arrangement of all the colors, and we'll talk a little bit about that later. Let's go ahead and get started. Look what I have. That's right, it says mix primary colors, and the primary colors are red, yellow, blue. Very nice. Let's get started. Here we go. We're going to mix red and yellow together to create a secondary color. Primary plus primary equals secondary. Red plus yellow. What do you think we're going to get? Let's take our paint. Mix and see what we get. A little red, a little yellow. Mix it around. What do I have? Oh, that's right. Orange. That is so right. Let's paint some orange right there, right in the center. So red plus yellow makes orange. And did you know that red plus yellow will always, always, always make orange? Always. It will never make another color. Red and yellow will always make orange. Isn't that cool? Okay, we're going to make... We're going to mix some more. We're going to do yellow plus blue right here on our chart. Yellow plus blue. What do you think? I have yellow and blue right here. What do we think? Hmm. Oh, I hear a lot of people whispering green. You think green? Yellow plus blue equals green? Oh, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. You are right. You're so smart. Yellow plus blue, primary yellow plus primary blue equals secondary. Ah, green. That's right. We're going to paint that circle green. And that is a nice green. I like that green. And yellow and blue will always, always, always make green. Always make green. And our last one that we're going to mix today is red plus blue. So, blue plus red. Hmm. What do we think? You think violet? Really? Let's see if you're right. Here I go. I'm going to mix them up. Ooh. You're right. Look at that. Can you see? Everybody can see? Gorgeous. Violet. Blue plus red will always, always, always make violet. That's right, violet. Okay, let's paint some violet on this circle. Can you see? I love violet. 
I love all the colors, but violet happens to be one of my very favorites right now. All right, so we found some things out today. We made some discoveries, didn't we? We found out that red plus yellow, red plus yellow gives us orange, primary red, primary yellow, secondary, orange, very good. And we found out that yellow plus blue will always give us green, that's right. Primary yellow, primary blue will give us secondary green, very nice. And we also found out, lastly but not least, that blue, primary blue, primary red will give us violet, awesome. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to break into our three groups, okay? We're going to break into our three groups, and I have three different stations set up for you. So, when I break you into groups, this is what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to take our color wheels that we've been seeing during our song, and we're going to play a little game. You take a penny, and you're going to toss it, and it's going to be on, I'm sorry, this is going to be on the floor, and then you're going to toss a penny up, and try to make it land on one of the primary colors. If your penny lands on red, then you get a red square. If your penny lands on a blue, then you pick up a blue square and you hold it in your hand. And if it lands on yellow, then you're going to hold a yellow square in your hand. Now, you're going to take turns in line. There's going to be three teams that are going to be doing this. And when you have gotten your penny to, he to hit the yellow, the red, or the blue, and you have all three primary color tiles, then you have a seat because then the rest of the people in your line are going to keep going. All right? And the first team that has everybody sitting down wins. Woo, it's exciting. The next thing that you're going to do is the next station. We will have these, and it's a little worksheet. It says mix the primary colors. It has a crayon, a yellow crayon, plus a red crayon. When we mix yellow and red, what do we find out? I'm going to have this chart over there. Red plus yellow gives us orange that's right so you'll take a little orange crayon just like that and color it orange all right and you're going to do the same thing can everybody see with all the other ones i'm not going to fill it all out for you you can do it and the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to the last station today is going to be tissue paper okay that you're going to take glue and water and mix it together and overlap them and make the color wheel just like this. Now next time that you come, we're going to talk about how to mix a primary and a secondary to get an intermediate color. It's going to be very cool. Okay, when I count to three, I want everybody to tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe to group A, group B, and group C. Get in your groups. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Fabulous. Thanks so much.